Hello everyone, my name is Leon and I'm going to be presenting a case review or a case analysis of Disney here. I am in section 10 of Business Degree 189. So first thing I'm going to go over is a little background of Disney. The current CEO of Disney, according to the textbook, is Robert Eager. As of 2019, they have 60 billion annual revenues and are active in theme parks, cruises, retail, and streaming. They also have many high profile acquisitions and you may recognize some of these names. These names include Pixar, Marvel, Lucas Films or Star Wars, and 21st Century Fox. So the question is, how did they do it? How did they build such a small company into one of the largest companies we know of today? Well, they basically built small ideas into multi-billion dollar franchises. Robert Eager had 20 executives responsible for identifying franchises that were very popular. For example, Lucasfilms and Star Wars. That was one of the ideas that the executives had to acquire Star Wars. And they also allocate employees to specific movie franchises. And there's a reason why that I will be going over later. Some of these movie franchises are Monsters, Inc., Toy Story, and Frozen. We all know Disney and Pixar. Disney Pixar is one of the most well-known brands, and they are known for franchises such as Cars, Toy Story, Wall-E, and Incredibles, all of those. Now, Disney Pixar is the most successful deal in Disney history. They initially, or Pixar was initially a computer software company that specialized in making short animated films. So they made some short animated films as an example to Disney. However, there wasn't much footing, much grounding, and there wasn't much of a deal yet. So now enter Steve Jobs, and yes, this was Steve Jobs from Apple. Steve Jobs decided to purchase Pixar for $5 million and invest $5 million of his own money into Pixar. Soon after, John Lasseter and Steve Jobs decided to enter in a strategic alliance with Disney. Soon after, Robert Eager was appointed CEO, and this was in 2005. Disney then acquired Pixar just after that in 2006. And this was really good for Disney because it gave them a look into Pixar's core competencies. Pixar is known for great animation techniques, and this acquisition essentially transferred all the knowledge to Disney. This allowed Disney to combine competencies in order to make a better company. And this also allowed Disney to make better animations, better films as we know it today. Films like Cars, Toy Story, and Monsters, Inc., just as discussed earlier. So, a couple of other noteworthy acquisitions, as I was talking about earlier. Marvel Entertainment was acquired in 2009. Now, Disney acquired Marvel Entertainment at $4 billion at that time and basically bought the rights to Spider-Man and the Avengers. Avengers are the Iron Man series and the Captain America series. And in the end, over $17 billion were grossed from those movies alone. In 2012, Star Wars or Lucasfilms was acquired for $4 billion too. And it continues to be one of their most popular franchises, even having a TV show spinoff on Disney Plus called Mandalorian. Finally, 21st Century Fox was acquired in 2009. And no, this is not the Fox News one. This is the one that has Simpsons and even Marvel characters such as Deadpool. And this was acquired for a whopping $71 billion. So 
we're going to talk a little bit about the CEO now, Robert Eager. Robert Eager was hired in 2005 to replace the previous CEO. Now, the first thing Robert Eager did was start to focus on the movies because prior to that, Disney was pushing out 30 movies a year and many of them just were not successful at all. Robert Eager pushed the amount of movies that Disney made down to 10 movies a year so that they can focus on making good movies instead of a lot of subpar movies. Robert Eager didn't go around making a bunch of movies with a bunch of different characters. He stuck to characters that we knew and love. Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean. We knew Woody and Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. And of course, we know Mike Wazowski. We knew Sully from Monsters Incorporated and Monsters University. Now, this was important because as consumers, we love to see repetition sometimes. We like to see sequels to our favorite movies. And Robert E. Renudis and decided to ride this wave. However, not everything is great with Disney. There are a couple key issues with Disney. Number one, they are running a system where they acquire a bunch of companies that they see as successful. Sooner or later, you're going to run out of great franchises. You're going to run out of the next Star Wars. You're going to run out of the next Marvel. You're going to run out of the next Captain America. You're going to run out of the next Deadpool, Simpsons. And of course, with making a bunch of movies within the same plot line and within the sa- with the same characters, you're going to have low originality. Now, with low originality, you're not going to have you're going to have customers who get bored of seeing the same movies. Plot lines just get boring. People get bored of seeing Luke Skywalker all the time performing a heroic task. Eventually, they're going to need to think of new ideas within these franchises. Additionally, a majority of their profits come from TV networks, believe it or not. These TV networks are ESPN, ABC. And the issue is that many consumers are moving to Hulu, Netflix, and other streaming services solely for the convenience. However, Disney had solved this with Disney Plus and ESPN Plus. However, we still don't know the full scope of how successful Disney Plus will be. And finally, the biggest issue here is Robert Eager leaving Disney. There's a couple of issues with Robert Eager leaving Disney. First off, he's a CEO that brought the fame and fortune to Disney as we know it today. Though he was supposed to step down in 2015, he extended his term until 2021, possibly even further. With no new CEO in sight and no information about a new CEO, we're forced to wonder, will Robert Eager leave Disney? And if so, he has big shoes to fill. Who will be the one to replace Robert Eager? And will that new CEO be as successful as Robert Eager? However, despite all this, despite Robert Eager leaving company and so many more issues presented by the COVID-19 pandemic with their parks and cruises, Disney is still going to be here to stay with their core competencies of animated movies and making excellent franchises. They will be successful in the long run. Thank you for listening to my presentation. My name is Leon, and I am in Business Degree 189, Section 10.